Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you which are the best Android emulators for low-end PCs. The lightest ones, those that consume fewer resources with which the games run more smoothly, are safe and of course, they are free. Let's get started. The first one that I'm going to recommend is LD Player. It is quite popular and without a doubt the best. Because it is very light, it is the best option for a low-end PC. Its advantage over others is that it receives constant updates based on users' feedback. Since 2016, it has been improved a lot and generally it has good performance. It allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the keys to improve the experience in games. And of course, you can run any Android application without any problem. WhatsApp, Telegram, TikTok, etc. The second one is BlueStacks which is also very popular. In fact, today it is the most downloaded emulator. It offers good performance and custom game controls. But although it has not been the lightest emulator, with each update it gets better and better. In fact, the last update, BlueStacks 5, which is called the Performance Beast, has really improved this emulator because now it consumes 40% less RAM. You can install them both, try them and choose the one that is best for you. The third is MemuPlay, which is also very well known. It works well on low and mid-range PCs. It has good performance, good sensitivity and also receives constant updates. One good thing is that in games you can use GL Tools Android, which is used to lower graphics in some games. An interesting function for low-end PCs. We continue with Game Loop. And based on my experience, it is one of the lightest emulators, focused on gaming. If you have a low-end PC, it is highly recommended. But I have to say that it has some other errors when it comes to sensitivity, game controls and some other details. If it had the constant fixes and updates that LD Player has, we would definitely have one more reason to put it at the top of this list. But surely soon it will be improved because the presentation of the emulator and its web page look very good. And finally, Nox Player, an emulator with a fresh and modern look. It's also easy to use. I'm telling you this so that you can take it into account and know that it exists, but it's not exactly a low-end PC emulator. After using it for a while, reading the opinions in forums and the comments of other users, I agree that it is an emulator that requires a lot of resources. It may create bugs and the sensitivity in some games leaves a lot of space for improvement. However, it works well and a lot of people use it. You just get to notice those details when you try other emulators. It is important that you know that for an emulator to work correctly, you must activate virtualization. In the description, there is a video where I explain how to do that in only two minutes. That's all. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.